is going to be so good. Oh, hey, you just caught me doing a food review. If you know Best Ever Food Review Show, you already know my signature bandana. What you might not know is my bandana is really hiding what's behind it. Perfect frontal bone structure. Fact. Two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they reach 35. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still have hair left. Introducing... Keeps. I like Keeps because they offer a scientific and wallet-friendly approach to preventing hair loss. There are only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there. You may have tried them before, but probably never for this price. No more going to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription. Now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and have your hair loss medication sent directly to your house. They make it easy to deliver your medication every three months, so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and awkward doctor's visits. If you're noticing that you're losing your hair, do something about it. For a limited time, go to Keeps.com com slash food review or click the link in the description to get 50% off your first order. Now, on to the show. Have you ever cooked bacon? Yes. Naked? No. It's dangerous. Ready? Here we go. In today's modern meat-filled world, some body parts get overlooked. Oh, that's an ear? I thought that was a ponton leaf. This series is an homage to the offcuts, body parts that in the West might get thrown in the trash. That's an eyeball. People eat this in Vietnam, right? Yeah. Last time, we discovered tasty bones. Oh my lord, that is good. And now, it's all about animal skin. I don't think in America we use skin in any other dish other than the chicken pork. Today we're on a hero's mission, showing that these underrated animal parts have the power to rise above. The fatty, collagen-filled nature of skin makes it perfect for adding some kind of richness to certain foods. For foods, for chefs, cooking up dishes that are not just tolerable, wow. but crave-worthy and delicious. <gasps> so how will they do it? Let's find out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I said let's, let's go. go. No, go. Let, go, let, go, let, me. go me. Today, we are on a skin mission, starting here at your fine establishment. This restaurant specializes in all things buffalo, including the skin. He grew up in a region of Vietnam that was near Thailand. I think what he's saying is he grew up near an ethnic group known as the Thai people, and there, eating buffalo skin was a tradition. Is that right? Yeah. You speak English this whole time? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, what's happening? What am I doing Wait, here? I speak Vietnamese. Vietnam's Thai people have a special technique used to preserve buffalo skin. They start off by applying salt to dehydrate the skin, and then they flamethrow it to get any of the small hairs off. This dehydrated skin can stay good for months. When it's ready to be eaten, it gets soaked in water until it's rehydrated. It's still kind of hard, you can see it's absorbed or taken on a lot more water. This is still too hard to eat, so in order to make it edible, you'll need a very sharp knife. Can we try eating this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That is gamey AF. With a capital G. It smells like, um, manure. Dim socks. It has a manure aroma. The taste right. isn't there. For just a little guy, that is powerful. Uh. Yes, he's in agreement that this is similar to a buffalo field. For an ingredient that tastes this foul, transforming it into something delicious will be quite the challenge. They start with julienne carrots, herbs, and shredded banana flour. Then, the buffalo skin. That's topped with garlic, peanuts, and chili powder. Pour in a bamboo shoot sauce, mix it up, and enjoy the most important meal of the day. So now it's a mix of the original smell with some nice dressing. What we smelled earlier was very off-putting. And I don't mean to be rude at no, all. No, 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 no. It was like next level. And even the owner of the restaurant admitted so. Let's take a big whiff and see how much of a transformation has taken place. It has a new car fresh smell. Yeah, right? There's a profound amount of skin in here. We're literally eating a skin salad right now. Ready? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. They're so crunchy. There's so much to crunch through. It's not like the gayness is gone. This has been toned down. At the same time they served us this, they served us this. At that point, everything snapped into focus. This, my friend, is alcohol. Because this, my friend, is drinking food. Together, it's a match fit in heaven. Right. This is a, a spirit made of rice and jungle fruit. No, no animals were harmed in this video. What? what uh, yeah, 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 he's right. <laughs> it's cleansing my demonic soul. Now that we're a little buzzed, we okay. should try some more. I think it's going to be completely different. Cheers. Cheers. 
better. Much better. It tastes like tendon. It's a different crunch than peanuts. There's two parts to this transformation. Transformation one is everything they've done here for the meal. Transformation two was our transformation. After drinking a little booze at 10 a.m., I feel pretty good about it. I feel really good too. A risky start for location one, but well done to the folks here and well done to the folks who have been doing this for hundreds of years. Let's go. Let's go. Why are we shaking hands all the time? I don't know. Another culture, another skin. We're heading to a Korean joint where I'm planning to give Calvin a little surprise. 오늘 재밌는 음식 먹을래요. 돼지 껍데기입니다. 아, 껍데기. Today we're eating pig skin. What? 뭐요? 뭐요? Grilled pork skin is pretty commonly found in South Korea. It's not at the top of most menus, but somewhere listed on the back page, waiting to be discovered by true barbecue lovers. How do you make it? 저희 뚱꼬집에 특별한 소스, 특별한 소스에 삶고 나서 저희가 기름을 제거하고 칼집을 내고. It was then he realized he reached the limit of his Korean language ability. I got this. <laughs> Luckily, me from the future is here to save the day. First, they prepare a boiling marinade of scallion, ginger, garlic, chilies, and Korean soy sauce. Does the skin give any health benefits? Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Oh, yes. Yeah, hell. Go collagen. Basically, it's a lot of collagen. It's good for your skin. When this flavorful brew is ready, the pork skins take the plunge, soaking in that Korean flavored goodness for 20 minutes. Who's eating this pig skin? Everyone. Everybody. I don't know. Namja, yoja, grandma, grandpa. Chakjan. These pieces get sliced and then intricately scored on one side, creating this beautiful network of flowing fat canals. Now, they press out the excess fat, and biggity boom, it's ready for the dining hall. You gotta be really careful when you eat this. This is hot right now. You just put your hand over hot fire. What are you, a circus act? The communal aspect of Korean barbecue sets it apart from any other dining experience. Have you ever cooked bacon? Yes. Naked? No. It's dangerous. This is like that. Should I? Here, I can really show off my chef skills. I'm gonna put it on, and I'm just saying, be careful. The oil is gonna come flying, though. Vibing with the ingredients. Ready? Here we go. You know, I think it takes some time. And utilizing the tools given to me <gasps> to create something perfect. Oh. True happiness. Well, almost perfect. It turns out we cooked it wrong. So now she's gonna do it the right way. Pushes it down and then rotates it quickly. She's trying to get all the moisture out of the skin, thus causing that crispiness. It's kind of puffing up a little bit. The underside is a little softer and then it gets a little harder on the top. Cheers. It's better. Oh my gosh, so much better. It's like when you're biting into something that's springy, it's soft, it has a little give. And then that skin on top, it really brings another dimension of flavor to that dish. It almost becomes like a maple bacon, like that kind of oh, oiliness, yeah. but with this great gummy sensation. Mm. I am a big fan. Next, we're gonna check out the three skin. And then the four skin. Our third location is a quaint street side food cart that caught my eyes and my heart with these bizarre looking skin gongs. Do people actually eat that, or is that just to entice the patrons to come in? It really is for the aesthetics, but you can't cut it and refry it. This place started as a photography business for folks who need a quick passport photo. But Ms. Suwon realized the real estate in front of her shop was going to waste, so she created this food cart. Her skin is the best skin. You have great skin, actually. Now, YouTubers like me keep filming and keep promoting her shop. In her six months of operation, she's had four YouTubers come by and film already. What? And the picture business is still kicking along just fine too. Come in for a photo and stay for the sticky rice and fried chicken skin. First, a healthy scoop of sticky rice, a spoon of homemade pate, then a delectable, unhealthy dose of deep fried chicken skin. What do people love so much about the skin? Vietnamese love eating things that are crispy and also rich and fatty. Oh, me too. I'm rich and fatty, ladies. A dash of condensed fish sauce, a shot of Cameron sauce, then pickled veggies on the side. Time to dive in. I think we tried just some skin at first. Okay. 
very smoky, but I like it. This isn't battered. All you're getting here is just the chickadee skin goodness. When you bite into it, there's full of air pockets that just disintegrate. I'm gonna try just some rice with uh, pate. So the chicken, presumably, has a liver. Put this been made into pate. This is like full circle. Fantastic, let's try it out. I almost like that more than the skin. It's true, it's really good. I, the skin is fun. Sticky rice is such a great chewy texture. Yeah. The pate is like salty and sweet. Are you down to do the sticky rice and chicken skin combo? We have to, there's no choice. Cheers. They're better together. And it's a marriage of flavors and textures. All of them together is better than the skin alone. It's good. Sometimes. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. No. It seems animal skin has no limitations. Right now, it's taking us from a humble street food stall to a full on factory. We're doing a whole video about animal skin, and this is our final big triumph finale here at the Fish Skin Factory. What do you do here? A powder, a fish. You're the what? Powder. I thought she said flounder. I thought she's talking about the fish. The fish skin. This snack first became popular in Singapore a few years ago, but enthusiasm for this unique treat spread quickly throughout Southeast Asia. Fizzy Company combines codfish skin with some very unique flavor combinations. But codfish skin is not smell. Appropriate yeah. for eating and being seasoned and turned into something else. This production line starts with tons of raw cod skin imported from Europe. Here, the beginning part of the process is to remove the scales. They use a knife, they carefully scrape each piece of skin, then cut the skin to the appropriate size. Success. Success. Next, skins are coated in a special flour then deep fried twice. Once to cook them all the way through, and once more to make them crunchy. They're plucked from this oil-filled cauldron and tossed into a centrifuge to spin out the excess oil. This is what I call a skincare routine quality checking and breaking the skin into bite-sized pieces at the same time. How many flavors do you have? The original, the spicy, double scented egg yolk. Twice the egg yolk, twice the fun. Two times chungwood, two times salted egg. 100% Yeah, get do it, die, die, you want to let me? I don't know. Time to rip the packaging away. Oh, I'm so excited. And take away. It doesn't smell fishy. It almost has kind of a neutral smell to it. Even salted egg doesn't have a strong smell. I think we should fish a piece out of here. I see what you did there. Cheers. Cheers. I can imagine sitting at a movie theater munching on these. First thing I noticed is the texture. Crunchy but kind of airy, like eating a potato chip or Doritos. You wouldn't imagine it's a fish skin though. If I did a blindfold test and I said, hey, put this in your mouth, could you guess what it is? Ugh, please don't, we're never gonna play that game. I don't trust you. Why? So I've actually eaten this before. Oh, thanks for the invite. Before we came here, they shipped us a bunch of these bags and I ate two or three of them. It is very addicting. Once you pop one fish skin, you cannot stop. Time to turn the flavor up to 11. The perfect ratio of salted egg powder, paprika, curry leaves, and other secret seasonings create their signature quadruple spicy flavor. It has a ton of chili powder in it. Four times spicy, and that's why it's gonna be a little bit red. It's getting into that hellish realm of spicy looking. Let's try it out. I don't taste four times of anything. It tastes similar to the last one, but it's warm. It's more like a paprika than it is a cayenne. Yeah, it's not intense. It feels pleasant. It just feels warm, as if in here it's not warm enough. Today we tried four different types of skin from four different animals. I want to know which was your favorite. The Korean one. That was phenomenal, dude. I love the Korean skin, but I gotta say my biggest 180 was with the fish skin. I used to be a fish skin hater, but it turns out it's really good. Phenomenal. Are you tired of being mocked for your awful lack of style? We can't help you, but we can sell you custom designed bandanas. Link, description, go. How do you say I a bike? Ch uh, chunan, uh, bike. <laughs> What a pleasure. Let's eat some buffalo skin. Triple handshake. About two, three years ago, the trend started to do pink skin. But this is an old dish. Hundreds of years ago. Just say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm actually 55 years old. Uh, but oh. how come that didn't surprise her? <laughs> do you know Fast and the Furious, the movie? Yes, yes. Please. Should we ask Vin Diesel to be your spokesperson? I'll find Vin Diesel. Look at me, you'll see Vin Diesel. Ow! 
Wait, why are you both focused on him? <laughs> I hate you guys. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you had a load of fun. We sure did, right, Calvin? Right, Sonny. You can join Calvin and his fun adventures on his Instagram page, which is right here. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. A beast. Ah, man. I, I love skin.